initially started up as something, a way for me to stay involved in the heavy metal community after I'd had nerve injury to my arm where I couldn't play anymore. And how it stands up against uh, previous Gigantors is, you know, the media is really pleased with this lineup and they've been saying so, so I'm pretty excited about that. They've said this is the best one yet. The silent weapons and the dual slavery is to cheat the people for Chris came into the band back after Glenn had decided that he was going to stay home to spend time with his son, which is very noble. Chris learned the stuff fairly, fairly rapidly, although most guitar players in the history of Megadeth have all thought they knew the songs and only to find out they're missing a lot of the nuances. So we went over stuff and, and it actually made me take a look at the stuff I was playing wrong while I showed it to him. I was like, oh yeah, I remember that I'm doing this wrong. So. And I think the fans are welcoming him, although a lot of them don't really know. And it's always real easy for the fans to say, yeah, Dave, you're always changing your band members. You know, this is a situation where Glenn did a good thing, and the guy that is in Megadeth right now that uh, replaced him was recommended by Glenn's brother and, and co-signed by Glenn. <laughs> I think my tone and the quality and character of my sound's been pretty consistent over the years. It's, it's got to rip your head off, you know, without it being orally unpleasant. And my tone's better than Chris's. <laughs> Guitars play great. I, I see kids every day at meet and greets that come up with the guitars and say, it's the best guitar I've ever played. And I'm like, no shit. I don't know that I'll be using this one for everything because I think they may have some different guitars that might produce some different tones that might be good for the record. I out five, but two of them um, have, have uh, fallen over. Uh, actually, uh, another one left, uh, got left in Poland. You know, a good thing for me is that you know, I've got good support from the company and they understand stuff like that, you know. I go back and I'm leaning into the amp and I'm trying to get the guitar to bend, but it won't bend as easily as some of the other guitars I've played built like, you know the saying, the brick shit house. Mm -hmm. 